MTV, babe. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the video. This is SEMA day number uh, two, two, three. I, I've kind of I've kind of lost track after a while, but we are back at SEMA. This is actually going to be my last day at SEMA. We're here at the McGuire's booth. Later on today, I do have a signing here from one to two, so I get to meet all of you guys. But through the mist of all the SEMA craziness and stuff, we are going to walk around today and show you guys some of my favorite builds throughout SEMA that I found walking through here. Because you guys saw the last video, we saw a bunch of our friends like TJ, Chris, Roey's cars, all of that. But there are are a few that really stood out to me throughout walking the entire venue. Look who I have today. Surprise, it's me. <laughs> this week has been seriously busy, so I'm so excited to just go actually walk around and enjoy the builds, which I've never actually been able to do it seems. That I've always true. had work to do. So today's gonna be all about filming the awesome builds. So throughout walking out, the very first booth that I have to come to, they just absolutely crushed it this year, is Mac and Industries. And if you guys haven't watched the videos for a while and you don't know, T37s are my favorite wheels. And Mac and Industries is the biggest distributor for those wheels. So I always deal with my good friend, Rowie. Oh, what's what up? Dude? You guys saw Rowie's car at the Tread Pass yesterday. So congrats on that, because it looks amazing. Thank you. Rowie, okay, two of my favorite builds at SEMA this year are the Varus GTR and the Varus STI. Give me the rundown. What's going on? So on this GTR, we have the new Advent R6 in the black coated graphite color, which is really dope. The ice car, we have the new RS3 in number bronze. And the other side, let's go to the other side. Yeah. Oh, we got two different yeah, sets? So the other side, we have the red, uh, Kennedy Red TC4. That's so sick. I actually know Sky. Uh, you guys have probably seen him in the videos before. Uh, he used to have a dark gray metallic just like mine with the first ever Varus kit. He just switched it up for SEMA and got the brand new Varus race kit. And it's so cool to see all of my friends have such amazing builds in SEMA. And also, uh, Dustin is going to get those brakes on his car too. Oh, so stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Already calling him out. Maybe. <laughs> he has to. He has to. Say in the comments that he has to. These are Project Mew brakes, some of the best brakes that you can get as well. Super clean, might be happening. I'm conflicted. I love the bridge seats, especially with the carbon Kevlar in the back. It's a GTR. I don't know if I want to put buckets in a GTR, but that's kind of like my style. I think I would actually really like to have like bridge bucket seats in the GTR, especially something along the lines of what I have in the R32, which is the, the bridge Japan carbon back racing seats. I'm kind of looking into getting some bucket seats for the GTR. I don't know. This thing is absolutely amazing with the full Varus wide body, all the carbon accents on it as well one day maybe and it's a mcguire's car as well that is rad your first opinions of cinema so far i'm exhausted <laughs> you've been here for 20 minutes <laughs> i'm exhausted this is a lot Booth number two for today with one of my favorite cars is, I understand there's a lot of supers here. I think someone counted like 55 supers total at SEMA, but this one absolutely stands out the most to me. It's the Gretti Supra, and this thing is actually FD ready. It has KW suspension as well as, if you guys can see down there, Wise Fab angle kit. Absolutely crazy. This thing is fully FD ready, it has the tandem kit, which I think it looks really, really awesome. The interior is completely gutted out as well. Still keeping the stock engine with the intake manifold. A brand new turbo manifold, which I'll show you guys in just a second. But the new Supers are so new, I've never actually seen one built to this extent. And you guys know, I use Gretti on a lot of my cars. My BRZ and my GTR just got the Gretti titanium exhaust. So Gretti builds some incredible things. And it come out with a Super like this, it is incredible. So awesome. Let's check out the uh, the turbo manifold up here. Wow. I believe this is the B58 engine. I don't really know too much about the BMW engines, but that is just crazy. If I ever, ever bought a Supra, this would definitely be the build I would go for. It's just so awesome. 
definitely one of my top builds for this year. I'm actually so happy that this time we actually get to go walk around and see all the cars. I know, for the first time. This is actually pretty awesome. We just finished up one of our meetings. It is now time for us to actually go to our signing at McGuire's and go meet a few of you guys. I'm very excited. Mickey is also doing a signing with me, so I'll have Mickey there too. <sighs> now it's just time to get past the sea of people. What is happening? Uh, Why is I want a bird so bad and doesn't want to let me get one. Look at him. That could be me. I could just be sitting here with my bird walking around. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get for wanting a bird. It's about time you got here, bro. I'm doing for the show. This is for Calvin. Say for my for my son. My little my little man. For my little man. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, guys? Thanks for coming, guy. Yeah, not a problem. I it is uh, it is time for the McGuire signing. We have all of you Ooh, guys back here. Yeah. So we have you guys at the McGuire's booth. We have a good time meeting all you guys. First time ever doing this at SEMA, so thank you all for coming out. This is super dope. But uh, yeah, it's a good time. What's up, man? Damn, son. Yes, sir. That's sick. Thank you, brother. Yep. Since you are number one in line, brother, you get a Legends McGuire's hat from SEMA. Oh, yeah, and bro. And you're rocking thank the you. shirt, too. Thank you, bro. Yes, man. Is that where you're from? Just north at Milwaukee, so. Dude, thank yeah. you so much for coming out. It's so cool to yeah. see the shirt at SEMA. There you go, bro. Can you sign, like, is it anywhere to sign in the back? I got you right here. There you go, dude. Awesome. Got you, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that Mickey Speck signature. Who are you making it out to? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 2K cheesy. Oh hell. Right nice yeah. Jumbeasy? Jump easy? Two jumba. <laughs> Come on, bro. AKA the president. Oh yeah. Oh. Jump up for Prez. That's what I'm talking about. Jump up for Prez. Follow me on Twitch, Dustin. You better not leave this out. <laughs> Got him. He just put a plug in there like that. Got him! Got him! I got you, Doug. Oh hell yeah! That's that's the reason why I came here. That's it. I don't know what is this guy doing. That's it. That's it. Of course, one booth I had to come visit was the Yokohama booth. As you guys know, me and Yokohama work very closely together, and they brought out some pretty amazing cars this year. They have their Subaru the Rally car, Method wheels, the Yokohama tires, the full Rally kit too, dude. If they sold this rally kit, I would 100% do it. Oh, jeez. It's so good. Dang. This could be you. We told everybody we're doing an off-road build, so... See? Could be you. There you go. Nice. Uh, the Yokohama setup this oh, year well. is so good. Of course, they brought out their OG Advan livery with the new Supra, and they have tons of other builds. I love the whole crate thing they have going on here. But I really, really want to do the Advan livery on one of my cars. And I'm kind of thinking the BRZ. Let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see the BRZ with the full Advan livery kind of like this? So awesome.
We are finally back from SEMA and my travel for the year is pretty much done, which means we can start focusing on the cars which I'm really, really excited about. We have tons of 280Z stuff that's about to come out, but I wanted to give a huge thank you to Meguiar's for having us out at SEMA. Both of the SEMA videos were sponsored by Meguiar, so huge thank you to them. Also, a huge thank you to everybody who came out to my little meet and greet during SEMA. That was my first time ever doing anything like that at that event, and it turned out really awesome. If you took the time out of your schedule to come say what's up to me and Mickey, uh, thank you. I really do appreciate it. That was amazing. Hopefully, my ultimate goal next year is to have a car in SEMA, so hopefully that actually ends up happening. Uh, I'm going to try my best this year to try and make that happen, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. It really does help out the channel. I'm trying to get to 500k before 2020, so let's try and make that happen. Tell everyone you know to head over to the channel and hit that subscribe button. I think we can make it happen, so 500k by January. Let's do it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.